Hey folks, Blood Tears Veronica here, and welcome back to another episode of Red Carpet Corner. I have a very special guest today, Miss Blood Tears Glory, my mom, and we're going to talk about the book, Divergent, which the movie, because they always turn a book into a movie, uh, comes out March 21st on Friday. Can't wait to see it, and I'm going to let Miss Blood Tears Glory uh, tell you about what the bi di 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 book Divergent is about. So here you go. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, all right, well, the book Divergent is the first in a trilogy of books. It's written by Veronica Roth. And she first read it and was very excited about it. A friend recommended it to her, and she really enjoyed it. So I picked it up and um, kind of wanted to keep up to speed on what she's been reading. So, um, and I really, really enjoyed it. It's a kind of a post-apocalyptic book. Um, it kind of, um, you know, falls on the post-apocalyptic dystopian um, environment and uh, it's set in uh, North America, uh, specifically right around the Midwest. Um, Chicago actually makes an appearance in the book. And um, think Hunger Games, um, that kind of theme, which is also very popular in literature yeah. right now. And um, and it basically follows a girl named Tr uh, Beatrice. Um, this, this society has now been divided into five factions. Um, you can name the factions. I can never remember the names of the factions. I can't barely pronounce them. So. Okay. Um, Dautilus, the Brave. Abomination, the selfless, Amity, the peaceful, Candor, the honest, and just one more. Amity, the, the intelligent. Okay. The, um, the, the faction she starts off in is the Abomination faction, and the children from all of these factions are educated together, and they take a test that helps determine what faction they should belong in. And uh, what she learns through the course of this test is that the test doesn't work on her. Um, it indicates that multiple factions might be um, appropriate for her, and she has a choice to make. She can really choose any of the factions to go to. And so um, her choice, which I won't reveal to you because I don't want to, um, no spoilers, um, it sets the course for the rest of the book, and it also it sets the course for her discovery of herself and what she is truly made of and what it means for her to be divergent and ultimately what it means for um, what divergent means to this society um, and what it, how, the implications that it has. It definitely has far-reaching implications in how the rest of her life goes and then some of the other people that she meets. Of course, in, um, in, as in any book, there's always a, for any strong female character, we have an opposing male character and so it enters the, the character of four, which becomes her kind of love interest uh, in the book. Although it's not a romance, it does become a love interest. And so um, her relationship with Four and how that develops and is unpacked in the movie, or in the book, um, unfolds. And ultimately to the end when we have, she has to make very heroic and very, you know, um, life-changing decisions about how to handle the situation that she's in. Um, it's a good book. I think it's a um, got a strong female character. It's a very good book. I will give a parenting adviso that the um, there is some young love in this book, and so there is a little bit of uh, flirting, me and some you know happy hands and kind of first and second base kind of stuff. Um, nothing incredibly um, uh, overt. And nothing incredibly alarming. It's very much a PG, PG-13 kind of arrangement. But parents of children should know that going into it. I wouldn't recommend it for anyone who's, say, under 14 or 15 years old. Yeah. I mean, that's a parenting discretion. But um, And I definitely think parents should probably make sure that they're having good conversation with their teen before they read this. And then anything that they might be uncomfortable with, they would have a good, be able to have good dialogue with them about that. Um, it's also that, But ultimately, it's a good book. So ultimately, they turn it into... A movie. a movie. Okay, so the movie is actually going to be filmed in Chicago, and uh, the three main like characters and one of my fav three main favorites is Tris, Four, and Janine. Uh, Tris is played by Sh Shailene Woodley. I haven't like really seen her in much. I know she plays in like a few movies, but she will be playing in The Fault in Our Stars. Um, it's based off a book. Uh, it looks it looks really interesting. I want to go see that too. Um, and. Four is played by Theo James, who plays um, in Downton Abbey. Uh, what's his name? Who was he, was, he, he was the um, the unfortunate Pamuk, the Turkish uh, yeah. gentleman who Died meets his end um, in the Mary's in, in Mary's bedroom. So, so it's setting up a fantastic story arc, but you know, <laughs> poor guy, he didn't last very long. No. Um, and then Janine is played by Kate Winslet. 
Um, I haven't seen Kate Liz Winslet in many things, but she's mainly known for being in the Ti Titanic. Um, and this is kind of more of a mature Kate Winslet, uh, because, you know, even though Janine is kind of a, you know, I don't want to spoil, but kind of a bad guy. She's a sinister character. Yeah. With, so with very conflicted or very like, very conflicted intentions. And, yeah. So yeah. yeah. So those are the three main characters. Um, what I am looking forward to most about the movie is all the stunts they're gonna have to do because in Dotless, you know, they're the brave, they're tough. You know, they like challenge themselves. They jump off moving trains and like onto buildings. And like even the Dotless born, which means you're born into Dotless, which is kind of self. But um, like if even they die, like like yeah. basically you die, you die. No one, yeah, who cares? So you you basically fighting for your life if you go this faction like nonstop. So I can't wait to see all the stunts they have to do. But um, what I am not looking forward or what I'm kind of getting annoyed with what they're doing is they're making it like a love story between Tristan and Four. It is like kind of mushy feeling, flirtatious between those two characters, but it's not a love story. Which, I mean, if you read the book, you would totally agree with me. I know anyone who I've talked to who read about the book, it's like, no, it's not a love story. So that's kind of getting annoying. Another thing is they're not having one of the very important characters, Yuria. He, uh, he Tris meets him in Dothless. And, uh, he's just, he's like one of those characters, he is like a side character, but he's, you know, you, you love, you fall in love with him like instantly. So, um, you can't do zip lining without him. Um, it's just me personally, I, I don't think it can happen, so I may like close my eyes in that part because I don't want to see it without him. But, um... And I know, you know, you can't, like, always have what you want in, from the book to the movie. But what really ticks me off about that is they're having the character Max from this book series. He's in two pages of a three book series that have 500 pages in it each. And he's in it, like, a ma I said as the main characters, he's only in two, like, mentioned in two pages. Of so... I, I don't know how that's going to work, but um, I do want to see it anyway because it was a really good book and um, it, it will be a good movie, I think. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it about the movie. Yeah. So well, maybe we should just go, uh, oh, keep an open mind, and maybe we should just go see the movie and then report back and tell our friends here what we think about the movie. So you want to go? Yeah, yeah, let's go see the movie. Let's All see right, the movie. So, hope you enjoyed this little part of uh, our review of the Divergent. We're gonna come back and uh, tell you how we liked the movie, or if we didn't, or that jazz. And so, stay tuned. Bye. Camp that corner hard, baby. Yeah. Hey everyone, Blessings Veronica here. Um, we're back with another uh, part of our Divergent review. We went to go see the Divergent movie about a week ago. Uh, I went to go see it for my birthday. Um, and we're just going to talk about what we liked, what we didn't like. Um, I personally thought it was amazing, a lot better than I thought. You know, I went to the movies thinking like, oh, if this is going to suck. Like, it's not going to be anywhere close to the storyline. Um, it was pretty close. There was a lot of scenes they took out. I just I loved in the book and then I'm like oh, why did you take it out so I but I thought it was amazing compared to like, the book it, it didn't even touch the book but I overall it was amazing yeah it was a pretty close uh, representation of the book <coughs> I don't think uh, the liberties that it took and the things that it cut out you can kind of understand things translate differently on film than they do on tell on 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 in a book so um, I thought it was a great movie. It was very well done. Um, you know, there's, you know, the, the book it has a kind of a violent um, thread to it, and there are some um, parts of, parts of it that are in the book that are actually kind of, uh, you know, softened in the movie. I think that the book mm -hmm. in, is or is more violent and more graphic in the um, those areas, and so I thought the book did. Act, the my movie was actually a little bit more friendly. 
or yeah, yeah a little less uh, you know intense there um, it's you know it's it's very well done and it basically takes the workbook really pretty chapter for chapter so I was really pleased with it I thought it was well done good acting and uh, a good storyline what definitely a good screenplay that um, that translation so yeah yeah I liked it um it was yeah like as I, like she said um it wasn't as like so the book is a lot more intense like in the violent wise for one they don't have the butter knife scene uh they try to like they like in the book when like one of the characters get beat up they're like beat to like the core and they're all bloody and they're garbage yeah, in the yeah. movie they kind of yeah, it's a lot of off-scene and unseen or small, um, you know, reference to. So it's actually pretty, pretty softened up in those areas, and I really liked it. I think it was a really good um, uh, representation. I will give the parent advising that there is a little bit of, you know, um, you know, romance and even some, um, some mild sexual content with just the two lead characters and some ro romantic scenes and some, you know, some. Of that imagery so I think if you're going to go with your child or if your child's reading the book or if they're watching the movie just make sure you're having good conversations with them about those things and they kind of know the, the values you do want them to have regarding those situations if you do that I really don't think that parents have much to worry about depending on your threshold for your sensitivity on that areas I really don't think parents have yeah. much to worry about in that area at least we we didn't when we we went to see it and yeah we took her for her birthday yeah so, um so yeah, yeah. Yeah. Four out of five, or uh, how many stars out of five stars? I give it five. Give it five. I would give it, good, you know, four out of five. I think it was a really strong, strong movie. Yeah. And I can't wait to see the second one. Uh, the, the, yeah. When is the next one? It's, um, they're already selling tickets for, I think, or so a lot of MIB. They started MIB. filming for it? I, I'd probably. Um, I think it comes out sometimes next year, next year. But they'll probably make the third book into two parts, which mm -hmm. they always do. Yeah, so Thank anyway, you. yeah, so we'll definitely be reviewing the uh, the subsequent books alongside the movies that are released, and she's definitely, um, she read the books before I did, and she's yeah. definitely, she like practically knows the the script of the books. I mean, she knows the books backwards and forwards, yeah. so I read them, but she's definitely like the authority. You so. still have to finish the second book. Yeah, I know. I will. Before the next movie comes out, I'll finish it. So. Alright, yeah. well then. Yeah, well that's a wrap. Thank you for watching. Um... Uh, we'll probably we'll be probably doing another video here soon. So well, thanks for watching again. Um, stay tuned and camp that corner hard, baby. baby.